Hi, my name is Denny, and I'm going to go over chapter 9 and read from 1 John 2 1. My little children, I'm writing you these things so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. If you've been a Christian for any length of time, you understand it is not a matter of if we sin, but when we sin, because sinless perfection is not our reality in this time period. We can agree with the Apostle Paul's sentiment in Romans 7 when he says, For I do not understand what I am doing, because I do not practice what I want to do, but I do what I hate. For most of my Christian life, the narrative that I believed and was trying to live out was that the problem of sin is that it kept me away from a place or a destination. Sin is keeping me from entering heaven. While there is some truth to that statement, I believe it is not the complete truth. I am pushing back in my mind on the narrative that eternal life is a destination and the gospel or the good news is that Jesus made a way to get into heaven. Let me read a few verses from 1 John and explain how I see it. Apostle John says in the first chapter, What we have seen and heard, we also declare to you, so that you may also have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. A few more verses later, John says, If we walk in the light as He Himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. The underlying issue of sin is that when we sin, we break fellowship with our Lord and with one another. This is at the heart of the matter that our sin does not keep us away from a place, but rather it fractures our relationship with persons, namely our Lord God and with other human beings. There was an age or a time period in human history before sin entered our story. What we see in that time period is that Adam and Eve had perfect fellowship with one another, for they were naked and unashamed, and they had perfect fellowship with their Creator God. In that time period, humans were living under the direct rule and reign of God Himself, and as image bearers, they were given glorious responsibilities as royal representatives. The Lord made humans to rule this earth on His behalf. Unfortunately, as we read on, we discovered that there is another celestial being that the Lord God had also made who was living in rebellion against Him. And this celestial being deceived human beings to mistrust the Lord God's command and commit sin. So when sin entered our story, our fellowship with the Lord and with one another was broken. In addition, when sin entered our story, we gave up our authority to rule the earth on behalf of God, and the evil one became the ruler of this present age, or as Apostle John puts it, the whole world is now under the sway of the evil one. But praise be to God. The good news that is offered to us is that in Jesus Christ the King, God is ushering back the age or time period of His rule and reign over human beings. And how He accomplished this is through the cross, death, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. The author, Dane Ortland states at the outset of this chapter that an advocate doesn't simply stand in between the two parties, but steps over and joins the one party as He approaches the other. Jesus Christ, the God of this creation, stepped over into our story as a human being and accomplished what we could not do on our own. He came to this world as the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and He came to destroy the works of the devil. Everyone who believes and calls on the name of the Son of God is welcomed into the reality of the rule and reign of God, where we have perfect fellowship with our Lord. And those who have the Son also have eternal life right now. Let me conclude with this. We were created for the earth. This was our home, is our home, and one day will be our home. However, we are living as exiles and sojourners in this time period as we await the second coming of our Lord Jesus to fully usher in the reality of the kingdom of God and the renewal of all things. 
Love City Church, we are living today in light of that age to come. And we are called to embody to the people of this present age the values of the age to come where there is no sin or evil. But if we sin today, praise the Lord, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is for us and not against us, and His blood covers our sins.